Alright, so we are now on the ninth floor after listening to Keldio's little thingamahoozy there. I would like to meet Mr. Keldio. He seems like such a nice little person. Oh, God. Zora was everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, Big Out grows level. Awesome, level 22. New move? Ooh! Mega Drain! That's an awesome move, alright. Let's see. I think I can forget Tackle. There's a dog barking out back. It's probably Mercer. Yeah, my... All my family is here for Easter, so... Not only do I have China the dog to deal with, but I also have Mercer, my cousin's... My cousin... Ah. My cousin? Where'd that come from? No, he's not my cousin. Uh, my freaking uh, uncle. Oh, Ponyard wants to join the team. Oh, I name you. Oh, God. I don't know. I'll name you Pawnstar. <laughs> I don't know if anybody watches that show. Yeah, I give stupid names when I have nothing to name my Pokemon. So, yeah, you're... Pawn Star. Yeah, you go back home, alright, Pawn Star? You're alright. Yeah! You can't go adventuring with us because of stupid Happy. He's like, oh, Happy, you know, you can't have more than four freaking team members. I mean, I could have sent them with Umbreon and Dunsparce because nobody loves them. I mean, I guess, uh,. Pawnier probably would have been better than both of those guys combined. Crap, there's something over there. Why did I why did I go over there? I don't know, I thought I saw a, a corridor and I was like, oh, let's go that way. That dog barking. Oh my god, he's been barking for 20 freaking minutes. Okay, good thing the slumber trap didn't work. Stairs are way out here. Excuse me a second, guys. I had to go do something about that dog. Wow, okay. That sucked. All right. Sorry about that. But anyway, I am back and ready to own. You know, so like Saibi misses like every single time. I mean, not every single time, but it misses a lot. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be complaining because it's not like my moves are missing. And plus, you know, I'm not even the person using Psybeam. I'm a freaking Pikachu. <sighs> can you guys, can you guys just calm down for a minute? I mean, seriously, every two steps, you get into a freaking fight with somebody. I mean, the dog whisper. Okay. Oh, God, I have 2,600 poke? Dude. I'm depositing all that. I have almost 40,000 poke in the bank. Holy crap. Okay, not not money, so no. Don't start thinking I have a ton of money and go and rob in my bank account, no. If you want to rob my deposit box, that's okay. That, I should have said that. I should have said I have 40,000 Poke in my deposit box. I don't want anybody getting confused. I still, I still don't understand how that magical leaf can't kill. Ugh. <sighs> Can you guys please just stop fighting? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we? Uh, see, I'm gonna start singing in a really, really bad voice if you guys keep on fighting like that. Oh no! You can't be serious. The Electro Ball wouldn't do as much now they got the speed boost. Oh well. Oh my god, I love this music too! I love all this music. This music is amazing. 
See, normally their Mystery Dungeon music is pretty good, but, you know, they, they're doing alright in this game. The, they're really taking advantage of the 3DS's advanced sound system. Okay, we really need to do something about this Palpatine. Because uproar is actually a pretty menacing move, if I do say so myself, in this game. So I fully recommend knocking out any Palpatodes in the room before they kill you. When do I learn Thunderbolt? I want to learn Thunderbolt. Thunder. Let me learn Thunderbolt. Oh, justified. You're done, bro. You're done. Oh, and the stairs are right here. I'm getting lucky. Double kick. Double kick him. Wow. Does nobody have any common sense? Wow. Nobody has any common sense. Let me tell you guys that. Uh, I think there's 14 floors in this place. I think, if that's what I read correctly. Oh, Sleeping Poniard. And a Tortuga. Oh, crap. Here it is. Oh, and that's actually it. Huh? Everything's suddenly got dark. Everybody alright? Yeah, we're fine. I'm alright too. But... Girl. Uh, what was that? Girl. It sounds like something being dragged along. Everything. Everyone watch out. Everything. What? Oh, Golurk. Why does the 3D graphics look so bad? On that Golurk. What? Look how low quality it looks. Like the, guys, the ice is like all HD and the Golurk looks like 240p. Oh, Cryogonals 2? You suck. Golurk can't even roar. He doesn't have a mouth. You're dumb. You're dumb. Okay. Uh, I have a Petrify Orb, I'll Dodge Orb, let's see, I have an All Power Up Orb, I'll Dodge Orb, Petrify Orb, Foe Hold Orb, Health Orb, I'll Dodge Orb again, alright. I got a lot of awesome stuff to hit this guy, this guy's with, I'm gonna use the All Power Up Orb, cause that's what I like to do! Come on Dunsparce, kick butt! <laughs> go Dunsparce, go! Alright, so... Alright, I'm gonna change the moves. Oh, I can't change Umbreon or anybody's moves. Forget Tweak Attack, because that's not gonna do anything to anybody. Alright. No Quick Attack, no Takedown. Big Al, you can keep your moves the same. Yeah, Thunder Wave this guy, because these guys attack boosted. Alright, that cryogonal's done. This one will be soon. Oh, the tough skill made it survive. Well, that means just hit it once and it's dead. Oh, dang. Oh, Dunsparce fainted. I mean, at least it's not like the other game. Oh, crap, and Umbreon's dead too? Are you guys for real? Wow, Electro Ball did a lot, considering he's a ground type. Phew, looks like we managed to scare them off. What was that about, though? A random Golurk and random Cryogonals? Wind? In here? This dome is completely covered in ice. Meaning we're basically indoors, right? How can there be wind? Well, even if it's dome, look at the size of it. Maybe it's natural there's some air movement? I felt it too, that wind. It's just a faint breeze, but... Why does it matter? It's wind! It's, it's, it's wind. It's not like a bomb is going off or anything. It's wind. The wind is a natural thing. Ha ha! Dude! 
You're you're panting. You're about to pass out, and yet you're laughing. I I don't get this at all. Tun Sparks, you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Sorry for holding everybody up. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha <laughs> hey! Aren't we there yet? That's odd. Why is everyone still out of breath? Verizion! Dude, everybody's like dying except for me. I have extra strength, bro. I got that 30 minute workout video, and I'm doing fine. Uh oh. And now it's suddenly gone dark? Ah! What's going on? Whoa! Q Rem! What? Uh oh, I'm about to get murdered. I'm about to get murdered. Oh, dang. One on one battle. Oh, crap. Let's go. Does he want a battle? Where? Mmm. Uh. Big L. And everybody's just waking up out of nowhere. What? Everyone is. Isn't this where we were fighting before? Could he have saved everyone? You. Who are you? I'm the one called Q Rem. I'm the master of this place. Q Rem? The Q Rem? Known since the ancient past? That Kyurem? The path you seek is the one that none may tread. You cannot approach that forbidden place. Forbidden? A great power fills that place. A power even I cannot approach. I have foreseen your coming. The moment you entered that place, you would have been unable to return. Wait. You said you'd foreseen us? That means... You knew we were coming even before we did? That is correct. I knew the coming out of things. What happens in every land. What fate awaits the world. All this is known to me. And here, in this glacier palace, I have watched over that future since days long gone and forgotten. This Pokemon, this Kyurem, can see the future and the fate of the entire world? The path ahead is closed to you. There's no further adventure for you there. Turn back. All right. We're prepared. I never thought we'd be wiped out so easily. I give my word. I won't try to go any further. But in return, would you tell me one thing? The Great Crystal. Does it truly lie ahead? It does. It is the power you call the Great Crystal that makes the objects in the Glacier Palace float. That's all I needed to know. Thank you. Please, let me ask one more thing. I think a Pokemon called Keldeo may have come here. He did not. What? He never got here? You were the first Pokemon to come in from the outside and made it this far. Enough. You have done well to overcome so many trials and come so far. Your effort is worthy of praise. Before you lies your reward, take what you may find within and go. Oh, that was Kiram. I wasn't doing the weird voice like this. But if Keldio never made it this far, what could have happened to him? Whatever it was, it must have happened somewhere between here and the spot where he found that frism. I was so sure Keldio made it here. I mean, he was strong enough to get through the Great Glacier all by himself. So what could have... That's enough. Verzion. I know it's odd that Keldeo never came this far, but... Speculating about it isn't going to give us any answers. And the message we heard from the Frizzion that Keldeo left... It still doesn't change the letter he sent me. Verzion. No, Espeon, is that what you're thinking? I'm not giving up. You just don't need to worry. But along the way here today, I realized something. The voice from that Frizzion... 
That voice has undoubtedly Keldeos. The Keldeo who wrote that letter may have been cruel, but the Keldeo who spoke those words hadn't changed at all. When I realized that, I finally noticed. Ever since I got that letter from Keldeo, ever since I read those words, I stopped believing that there was any such thing as a real friend. But the one who planted that doubt in my heart, it wasn't Keldeo, it wasn't anyone else. The one who was responsible for that doubt in my heart was me. I'm the one who lost hope after seeing that letter. I'm the one who decided to give up after reading it. And I'm the one who made myself into the bitter Verisian you first met. There are a lot of questions I don't have answers to. Maybe I'll find the truth somewhere else one day. But that's why I've decided I'm going to try believing again, you know? Verizion! Verizion! I've been so miserable to everyone for so long. But meeting you all, and being able to come here together, it helped me remember how it feels to trust other Pokemon. And it's all thanks to you. I'm so grateful to you all. Oh my god, guys, I'm crying. <laughs> Let's all get together and cry. Come on. Okay, enough with that. I just want to open the treasure box. Come on. That's gold. I want to open the treasure box, guys. Yeah, stop reminiscing, guys. We still have a treasure box to open. See, what I want to know is, like, why did everybody, like, die when we got close to that door or whatever? And Kiram saved us. He brought us way, the b way back here, so... Yes, finally, somebody opens the... Well, somebody notices the treasure box. Come on, let, let's open it before Kiram gets mad. Come on. I don't want to get eaten. Wow! The church box contained a life seed, a protein, five silver spikes, and a partridge in a pear tree, and a gold scope, and 5,000 poke! Ho, 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 hey, wow! Wow, Kiram's actually a pretty nice guy. I thought he was like a bad guy for a minute. We're done. We're done here. We're done. Let's go home. Let's go home. Yeah! Team Titans, go!